Hi, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Brown Brack session. I'm really glad that you took time out to hear me out and uh, to find out what does it mean to make tangible the invisible. So what is a customer journey? Uh, borrowing from Don Norman's group again, but uh, I find it very useful. It's a, a journey map. Um, a customer journey is the journey map that is a visualization of a process that a person, very important human being, person, you can call it user, stakeholder, customer, consumer, it doesn't matter. Person, human being, goes through in order to accomplish a goal. Touch points, micro experiences, moments that you can design, not in isolation, but as an entire curated experience. So with all that said, the overall takeaway for, for today is that you can design these service experiences. Don't leave it up to chance. You actually can plan. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but you can do a skeleton first and the, and the painful points will come back and then you will adjust for those and know that it's a, a working piece. It's a sketch, but having a sketch is better than not having one. And uh, if you don't plan at all, oh wait, what's the code? It's like, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? So here's the thing. If you don't, don't plan out your service journey or a typical customer journey, then it's very dangerous. Of course, there are exceptions, right? And there are different variations, but your general persona that you have. Um, remember, the three. Uh, there are four points take away here, but there are three main things. Design for the invisible, design good services, and design the mini touch points with the tools that you've just heard about today. Mm -hmm.